we are starting a lifestyle brand that really? a little later. I was like, oh, I'm about to crack this case. Like, we're trying to create the name of this brand. The theme is formal. Priority. So if you have this strong family, then you can go out and you can be your best self. Um, I think I'm going to uh, share some of those names with you now. Like the trifecta right now. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm Jill. I'm just getting to the grocery store right now. It is the afternoon and my morning was not what I had intended it was going to be. Normally I wake up and I do my exercises and then come back, have breakfast, go to go to work or do my work, whatever. This morning I woke up. First of all, Mike's not here. He's in um, uh, Maryland doing work. And I did, I woke up early, took Ryan to school at like, cause he had FCA today. So I took him in early and I came back and I was like, Oh, I'm a little tired. Let me lay it out. So I laid that back down in my bed and I woke up at 930. It's like, holy cow. It is an overcast rainy day, which is one of those things that, you know, helps you sleep, I would say. Anyway, so when I woke up, I was like, well, I've got to get some work done. So I got in my walking clothes as if I was going to go for a walk. So I figure if you at least dress the part, then you're more willing or more apt to go. Not that I have to be like tempted to go to my walk. I love my walks, but I didn't. I just sat down and started working and that was the end of it. And I, and then I did not, did not walk, but I'm, I still have my clothes on. I haven't taken a shower yet. Cause once you shower, it's like, okay, I'm not going to work out now or I've already worked out, but so I'm not going to shower. I'm going to stay in my walking clothes. If I get to like seven or eight at night and I haven't walked, then I'll go ahead and take a shower. <laughs> Are you guys like that? Is that what you do? Guys are different. Michael, oh my gosh, it was totally different. They don't have to like plan showers and workouts and all that stuff because it's so easy for them. They just jump in, jump out with girls. Like you don't want to shower twice because then you're getting your hair like all yucky twice, not yucky, but like all wet and you have to do it all twice. They have to wash your face twice and then put all those creams on twice. So, oh my gosh, it's just, the struggle is real, guys. So anyway, I'm gonna go into the Aldi. I've got some groceries to get, um, and Ryan is at home doing homework. He was gonna golf today, but it's raining and um, overcasty, and the guy um, is not having his lessons today. So he's doing homework. I'm gonna get some groceries, go, go home, finish up work, and then my hope is to make some food, and maybe I'll share that with you guys. All right, now the decision is, I'm back from the grocery store. Do I walk now? Or do I wait till Ryan leaves? Because Ryan's here. It's 5.30. He's going to the volleyball game at 7. Should I just wait until he goes to the volleyball game? Will I get it done? I don't know. I don't know. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I've been thinking all day about this. As a matter of fact, I've been thinking all week about this. And I'm ready to share it with you guys. Um, I will have to stop the, film, the camera for just a second because all my information is on my phone. But one of our goals in... Um, and creating our new lifestyle brand, which if you haven't watched about that, I will put the video right here, like the link right there, so you guys are wherever it goes. <laughs> so you guys can take a look and see what I'm talking about, but um, just to give you the brief rundown, we are starting a lifestyle brand that will hopefully live on way far beyond um, just what we're doing here, not only um, far beyond like after YouTube is done, but even far beyond um, just the reach that we have here on YouTube, um, because our mission is to uh, strengthen and support healthy, happy, strong families and those people that make up those families. And so whether your family is traditional or non-traditional, we are all about the family unit. So, um, and it's something that is, is, made us who we are today. So if there's any way that we can share um, some um, tools for that and some inspiration for that, that is what we're trying to do with our life. We were calling it a lifestyle, really a family brand. So there's going to be um, games and toys and apparel and home goods and kitchen stuff and just um, hopefully a newsletter on our, is on our docket. But anyway, as we're creating this brand, we've asked you guys a while ago to share with us uh, three words that you um, think of when you think of it's the Donnelly's or three words that we make you feel when you watch our vlogs and we have taken all that information we've put it together we've molded it and turned it around and everything and we're trying to create the name of this brand not necessarily the name of a company it wouldn't be like Donnelly Enterprises we wouldn't do something like that but more of a brand like like what like like life is good right so what would be the brand name so we came up with several and we are getting ready to um, narrow that down and that's what I've been working on today and yesterday and I've been asking friends and family and everything so um, I think I'm going to uh, share some of those names with you now and um, 
see what you guys think. You can comment below what you think about these names. And I'm also going to share with you, this is so interesting. So I have um, a monthly Zoom call. I'm sorry, it's not true. A weekly Zoom call with um, Holiday. That's her name. It's a beautiful name. She is my partner and friend that I'm working with. On She's a branding expert. So she's helping me through this journey. And we're sharing this journey with you guys, which is so awesome. And hopefully you're enjoying it. And I'm you know, it's fun to like sort of make you guys part or have you guys be part of the inception of a new business and in hopes that it will do well. Um, and you guys can give us advice and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, so we're, um, I had a phone call with her last week to, to talk through all these words and these different um, names and everything. And so we've been filming our Zoom calls. So you guys, we thought it might be interesting if you took a look, like if you just like see the inside of like what we're doing. So I'll share a few clips here of what our Zoom call was like last week. So we talked about the goal sort of being to bring families closer together. As a mom, as someone with a family, what are some of the things that keep that make it hard, that pull families apart. Like helping your family understand and keeping it intentional and important and priority, that family is priority. So if you have this strong family, then you can go out and you can be your best self. But that means the problem we're trying to solve or help people with is universal. Like, oh, like you don't have to put on any airs. You just, it's just, you are, it's like, welcome like a big hug like welcome to my arms like welcome you're coming back into arms like that's what I think this is and now these are some of the names but I have to turn my phone off because my names are actually on the phone so hold on nothing can be easy I went upstairs because I printed out the list of what I was going to share with you and poor Ryan's up there doing his homework he just got a new computer and we do not know how to hook it to the printer I mean shouldn't it be simple you just get on the same Wi-Fi network and call it a day, but no, nothing is easy. So let's see what we have here. I'm going to come down. He needs to print a few things for school. So he's just going to access them on my computer. We don't really have time to go through the whole, we tried to do the setup and uh, it's not working. So I'm going to bring up my computer. He's going to log into my computer and print from here. And then when we have time or the desire to set up the printer, we'll figure that out. But he's getting ready to go to a volleyball game. So he doesn't have that kind of time right now. All right. Uh, so we're going to a volleyball game. The theme is formal, so I'm going formal with it. And uh, Ethan's waiting for me outside, so we're going to go. I might hit a little Chipotle beforehand. Go. Spear my face off. It's the playoffs. Our volleyball team is low-key fire. Fantastic. So it's going to be fun. Hey, don't let anybody stuff up those beautiful shoes of yours. Oh, no, no, He's worth 20 bucks. Were you able to get the printer to work? They'll stay clean. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I printed out my stuff. I'm all good. So is your homework finished or you have more to do when you get home? More to do when I get home, but okay. that was the big weight lifted off my shoulders right there. Printing? So, printing. <laughs> That's the hardest part of your homework? Honestly. And I, I'll tell you what, that was the hardest part I'm of my day. I'm pretty good life right now, so. <laughs> I guess you are. Excellent. Well, have a good time. Let us know Thank how you. it goes. I will. I'm I'll sure everybody would love to see what you're up to. For sure. All right. All right. Hey, yeah. and when you get back, can you give me some feedback on the names for the uh, lifestyle brand? Yes, I read brand? all those texts. Okay. Can you let me know? All right. Finally, yeah. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Thanks. All right, you guys, I got the list. This is the list of the, the, of the names that we're considering for the family brand. You ready? Okay, so this is the deal. Let me just read this to you because this is sort of a description of how we came up with this. So we um, took the three words and then we brainstormed words or phrase, phrases that would conjure up sort of the feeling that those, those three words meant, which was like a comfortable feeling of home. Here it goes. Ready? Feels like family. Family time. Homespun life and style, hometown life and style, home style family, home style, served family style, family style, five pancake place, swing sets and sunshine, porch swing, goodnight kisses, hello pumpkin, a bushel and a peck, honey bee, and I had two more and they were family favorites, and hearts and hugs. So, what do you guys think? Do you like any of those? <sighs> I kind of like, there's a meaning behind most of them, I have to say, and I'm kind of trying to figure out like what makes the most sense and what really like sort of epitomizes what we're trying to do and what we hope the results are. So, 
You guys let us know. Comment down below if you like any of them or if you have any ideas of what you think. And again, it's not like the name of a company. It's more of the name like of a brand. Like, So it wouldn't be like something Enterprises or something like, you know, Productions or anything like that. It's more of like, this is sort of the way you feel. So anyway, hopefully you guys are enjoying um, coming along with us. And I am so looking forward to your feedback if you've got it. I'm going to go ahead and if, for, if you guys are on Patreon which is basically like a fan club um, for It's the Donnelly's. I'm going to do a poll over there. I'm going to like have um, feedback and everything and do a vote over there. Yeah. And I know it seems like I'm just trying to waste time instead of walking, and I promise you that's not it. The next thing on my list today was to plant my plants because I went to the flower store the other day with my mom, the nursery, and got all these plants, and then I never planted them. So I want to do it before they start to um, suffer in their little pots. But look, I'm so excited about this one. Check this out. All right, so this is my little dwarf Mexican petunia is what it's called. And it absolutely bloomed these beautiful purple flowers just in the past couple days. I am so happy about it, but it does need to be planted in this pot. So I'm gonna plant this guy and then I'm gonna plant some that are in the backyard. <laughs> I had to say, it was a bust. It was a complete and total bust. We went to Chipotle beforehand. We were so hyped we get there. There was like no one there. And um, like, I'm not about to pay seven bucks just to get into this dead game. So I hope we won, but we ended up going to Menchie's. It's this little frozen yogurt spot. Uh, you may have heard of it, but yeah. So um, Menchie's was fun though. Now we're back. Me and Ethan are gonna run Madden. Okay. Uh, I still haven't, he has shorts on by the way. He's not, there's, there's a there's shorts under there. Can you see them? No, you look naked in that. Shorts. Shorts. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, line, just to say, just just to let you know, this kid has not beaten me at Madden yet. Just just for the record. Like, me and Brennan used to play Madden all the time. It was always a good game. But, uh, this kid. No, I'm no more of a 2K guy. More of a 2K guy, but it's whatever. So, I'm about to smack him in Madden for like the 37th time. But, yeah. So, peace. All right. I decided not to take a walk. It got a little bit too late. Um, and Ryan came home from the volleyball game, so he's upstairs playing games with his friend Ethan, and I've decided that it's time to try to make this recipe that I've been wanting to make for a pretty long time. Where did it go? Oh, it's on my phone. Silly me. Anyway, it's a recipe for artisan bread, like a, like a, a, uh, not a, like a yeast bread. I think I talked about it in prior videos, but today's the day. Today and tomorrow, actually, because I didn't really realize that it takes two days to make bread because you have to let it sit overnight. So it's a roasted garlic, rosemary, artisan bread. I will share with you the beginning of it. And then, so I've, I'm roasting the garlic now. I can smell it. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix the dough. And then I have to let that sit overnight and then I'll bake it. So tune in tomorrow to see if, when we bake it, to see what it looks like. So again, first time I've ever made it. So give me a little bit of grace because I'm not exactly sure how it's going to turn out, but I figure it's trial and error, right? You try and then you try again, but I'm hoping that it works out great the first time. That'd be awesome. That's what I'm making. Easy chicken and gravy? No, but that's a good recipe. I'm going to make that really? a little later. I was like, oh, I'm about to crack this case. Like, <laughs> I was like, she's not very sneaky, I was is like, she? she's not even, she's going to be like, what did you know? <laughs> but, uh, what are you making then? I'm making rosemary bread. Like actual bread. Like bread like Publix makes bread. I'm Make trying. Bread? Yeah. Just, if you take out the rosemary, I have it inside. No. Like, I, what's 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 the what's the rosemary part? It's here. Smell it. You love. Oh, it. I know. I know what rosemary is. It's like it, it's just an herb. It's like the kind of bread they have it at. So um, making healthy bread. Huh? I'm making healthy. Bread. No, it's not healthy at all. Oh, good. good it's stuff. it's bread like that, that you would get at um, uh, like Olive Garden. 
Mom, it's basketball season. Oh, geez. No, it's not. We're still in football season, buddy. And oh, baseball's not even the, over yet. That's the beauty of it. This is like the trifecta right this now. time of year. Mm -hmm. Hockey season starts. Basketball season starts. We're in the meat of football season. It's playoff baseball time. <laughs> the World Cup is about to be Oh, on. my Are gosh. And what about volleyball? Are you serious? And our volleyball team is insane. I actually don't know if we won because we weren't. Because <laughs> you left. Poor thing. Edward, are you not entertained? Hi, Eddie. Hi, buddy boo. Oh, there, yeah, there you go. Ready? Look at his tail. He's so excited. I know you do. Anyway, guys. And he loves you. I'm going to watch the Sixers Celtics game. Do a little oh math, gosh. homie. Okay. Uh, muck on a little rosemary bread. Well, you can't eat it until tomorrow because it has tomorrow. to. Tomorrow. Yes. Yes. I'm muck on a little rosemary bread. I also have, we also have two slices of Domino's za left. Mm. And I have half a chicken burrito from Chipotle. Oh, my gosh. Excellent. So I'm eating good in the neighborhood. For, you are. And I got your snacks. I got you yogurt. I got you... <sighs> Granola bars, and I got you applesauce. Mm -hmm. And now we have eggs again. And I bought milk, which I didn't know we didn't meet, need milk. Now we have three gallons of milk. So we have a lot of milk to drink. Dude, the Tom was worried. Oh, yeah. Not, not, anymore. No, not anymore. Hey, how do you feel about making milkshakes? Milkshakes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. one finishes this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After I do the bread thing. San Antonio Brown now. <laughs> <laughs> You can't really see what's in there, but that is my bread dough. Oh my gosh, so exciting. I have to tell you, if this actually works out, I think I might freak out. I won't really freak out, but I'll be very pleasantly surprised. I never thought I could do this before, make, make yeast bread. But anyway, so it has oregano and rosemary and olive oil and salt, pepper, garlic, roasted garlic, um, flour, I think that's it. Yeast, obviously yeast and water. So it's supposed to sit here for eight to 24 hours. So tomorrow, maybe like early afternoon, I'll try to bake it. It calls for a covered baking dish, which I do not own. Well, I own, but they're in Maryland. So I might have to run out and get a covered baking dish so I can bake it for tomorrow. And that's <laughs> pretty gambling there because I feel like if I buy one, it wouldn't be worth it to like have bread fail. So I'm hoping that the bread works. So if I buy it, I can use it again and again. I would use it anyway. I, I make macaroni and cheese, that kind of stuff. I would do it in that. So anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm pretty excited about it. Ryan is still upstairs with Ethan and um, I'm going to settle in and do a little stuff. And then, um, then he and I are going to be milkshakes before we go to bed. Guys, so my guy already fell asleep. His friend Ethan left and then he fell asleep, which is good because he has to get up early in the morning for school. Uh, what made me happy today was sharing with you guys the information about our the, the potential names for our lifestyle brand. I'm very excited about that. It's been on my mind and um, trying to make it the best I can for you guys. Um, also making the bread, which jury's still out, right? Because it's not done yet, but it was super simple what I just did. So I'm really hoping that it works out well. So that was awesome. And planting my plants. It, the, um, it's a little rain tonight, so hopefully it's going to um, give them a little drink they need so they can thrive. So I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Comment below what made you guys happy today, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.